Here we are again. It's time for another creation. I don't feel as though an actual intro is needed this time. But today we're going to be making mushroom steaks. So just go to the store, grab yourself some big ass portobello mushrooms. And then we're going to brush those with olive oil and some dried spices. We also slice up some tomatoes and throw them on top and finally cover it with some parmesan cheese and then we'll toss them in the oven. Alright, this is a pretty easy recipe. First you do, break off the stems. Should be pretty common sense, I guess is the word I was looking for. And we're actually going to save these and cook those up too, they're fine. Some people say you should wash your mushrooms, some people ask ah, just dirt. And I'm one of the people that say, ah, it's just dirt, who cares? But, so, take your olive oil. I have a brush, uh, just so that it kind of is more evenly distributed. I pour the oil on the brush, and then brush it on. And I do that with my left hand, so I look like I have Bell's palsy. Or maybe it's not Bell's palsy. Maybe it's just some other type of palsy, but... I know that's what we used to say as a kid. Hey, what, you got palsy or something like that? So, that's that side. Then we're going to flip it over and we'll do the other side too. Maybe I'll try my right hand this time so I don't look quite as ridiculous. And I'm only going to do this one mushroom on camera because, as you can see, this is a slow process. Well... Not slow, it's just not easy. And you can, if you, if you know how to do one, you can do the other. We'll toss a little more oil on this side. Since I now trust my left hand to pour olive oil and not get it everywhere. So, alright, that's coated with oil. Then, we're going to go with some sea salt. So... The mushroom releases some of its moisture when it's cooking. Mushrooms contain a lot of water and a lot of fluids or liquids in there. <clears throat> so I'll throw on some black pepper. If you were a good cook, you could probably mince up some garlic, but garlic powder again. And then we're going to save the oregano for later, but first we'll toss on a few slices of tomato. We'll slice up enough so that it covers the whole mushroom. I don't know, I probably want these like a quarter inch thick, something that you'll actually be able to taste. If you remember a couple of videos, videos ago, I mentioned that people were requesting that I make these cooking videos with my shirt off. So, you'll be happy to know that this video, I am actually shirtless right now. But, you're going to have to take my word for it because I'm not getting on camera like that. But, trust me, I am. So anyways, now that you got the tomatoes on there, covers the whole thing nicely. Now you're going to take your parmesan and spread that all over the place. Just change, move that camera, so hopefully this is still in, maybe it'd be better if I put this in my hand first. Then you just sprinkle this on there. I'll probably add a little bit more, but I want to get this going. So, then finally, we're going to take the oregano, and we'll sprinkle those on there. It will give it flavor and color. I really can't use my left hand. This is embarrassing. So, I call it a mushroom steak. 
Now as I look at it, it kind of looks like it might be some sort of mushroom pizza without any meat, but, or sauce. Yeah, it's probably not a pizza. I'm just an idiot. But, so that's what that looks like. And then we throw it in the oven, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. These are the finished products. Uh, they look kind of like they did before I put them in. Pretty weird like that. These turdy looking things here. Those are the stems that I wanted to cook up and eat. I wasn't going to waste it, but as you can see, it looks pretty good. If you like mushrooms, it tastes pretty good. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian, it's a great way to get some extra vegetables and protein in your diet. And if you look over here, here's my pan of chicken. Just want to show everybody that says, oh, I don't have time to cook during the week. Well, bullshit. Get yourself a big-ass pan and get it all done in one time. But, sorry. Anyways, here's that. I strongly suggest you try these if you like mushrooms, they're really good, and I try to eat them, oh, not as often as I should, but anyways, I'm going to stop rambling, because I've got nothing else to say.